And we're here! We're almost even exactly on to... Okay, no, we're still like 10 minutes late. It's fine. Um, but we're here! We're here! And we're going to continue the game again as per usual. Going to hang out and see uh, if anybody is joining us. And go back to my chat room. Ba -ba -ba. At the moment, it's just me and Keen. Sup, Keen. <laughs> he said sup. Let's make sure I've got everything here that I need to have here. So I did a little bit of research, um, and it turns out there's actually only one thing that is completely missable in the game. Other things just become unavailable for a duration and then eventually you can get back to them. Um, but there's only one thing that's completely missable and it's not until act two. So we don't have to worry about making absolute certain we caught everything. I wanna make sure that we take care of the quests that I know that we can do and I wanna go back to Tickington to make sure that we've done everything we need to do in Tickington. Um, and then we're gonna finish part one tonight, so... Yeah. Um, I know that there is stuff in between part one and part two as far as... Where are my hands? There's my hands. Um, as far as the original version versus the definitive version. So, part one, um, where it ends, it jumps straight into part two in the original version, but there's like an interlude part uh, in the definitive that I have never played before. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know if we're going to get to that tonight, but we're going to see what happens. Um, because I think we just have like maybe an hour and a half worth of cleanup and then actual content to get to the end of part one. So we might get into a little bit of the interlude. Um, and we can increase our chances for that. In fact... By just going there. By just doing it. Let's do the thing. Continue our adventure. I think it's still just us, Keen. It is just us. That's alright. Even if there's no one else here, I still have Keen. Oh! Wind is here! Okay. Hi, Wind. Is Cappy with you as well? And Dark. See, my thing just doesn't update in a reasonable time frame. Anyway, I'm gonna read the thing that's on the screen now. On their quest to seek out the six enchanted orbs that will open the path to Yggdrasil, the party arrive in Arborea. There, the High Priest Benedictus welcomes them and tells them a tale of the Luminary, the World Tree, and the events of ancient times. He explains that Yggdrasil is the root of all life in Erdrea, and that she chooses to bring forth a luminary whensoever her realm approaches a time of great peril or disaster. As the luminary, Edric's destiny is to confront Mordigan and defeat him, and in so doing, save the world from calamity. Lastly, he learns of Erdwin, luminary of legend, before setting off for the first forest where the world tree and the power to defeat the darkness await. All right, friends, we're going to go do some cleanup things, and then we are going into the first forest. Yeah, we had a, a super peaceful respite. I got stuff to do. Let me go. Okay, so there's another quest down here in the Grove of Repose. So I'm going to run over there. I'm gonna go talk to the person here. This kid. I'm rather poorly... The doctor said that he doesn't know how to make me better, but I think I might know a way. My grandfather once told me about a magical flower called a wishteria. He said that when they bloom, they grant a single wish. But their seeds are very difficult to get a hold of. The only way to obtain them is to track down a very rare monster called a white bulb and defeat it in battle. You and your friends look strong. Could you defeat one for me and bring back some wishteria seeds? It might be my only hope. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, thank you. If I can get my hands on some of those seeds, I'll be able to wish for them to make me well again when the flowers finally bloom. 
The white bulbs that carry them live in the first forest, but they only appear very rarely. You should try fighting their friends, the sprite bulbs. Fight a sprite and a white might bite. That was hard to say. That's what my grandfather always told me. Fight a sprite and a white might bite. Woof. It won't be easy to find, but I'm counting on you. After all, you're my only hope. Please bring me back the seeds I need to make me better. <coughs> I don't think that was a particularly convincing cough. Planting seeds for the future. Sounds good. I don't think there's anything else in here at the moment. Well, you know what? That's in the first forest. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that. We're actually just going to go ahead and zoom to Tickington because we did get two more passwords, I think. We picked up one in Sniffelheim and then one here in Arborea. Um... And I want to make sure that we've done everything that we can do in those. I think that since those are technically, like, not part of this timeline, we have access to them all of the time. But I just want to do it because let's do it. Because I haven't done it. I gotta go did it. Um, also, apparently, this guy is never going to move, according to my research, um, because he is from the Switch version, where they use, like, the pass system, uh, or the 3DS version, I'm sorry, where they use the pass system to, like, that's how you got passwords, was you'd, like, randomly pass other... 3DSs and it would pick up their codes and that would get you passwords. Um, but obviously the Switch doesn't have that and the PC definitely doesn't have that, so. I keep trying to run and I can't. Okay, so there's four that we have access to right now. The Altar of Reverie and All Trades Abbey. All Trades Abbey sounds familiar. I've played that one. I don't remember which one that is. Is that nine? I don't know. All Trades Abbey just sounds familiar. I came to All Trades Abbey in search of a new life. Instead, I found a horde of rather agitated old men. I doubt I'll ever be able to change vocation at this rate. I need to make myself smaller. Hang on. So I can... There. Now I should be able to read all of the text. Boop. I've always wanted to become a sage. That's why I came here to the Abbey. I did not expect to have to wait so long once I arrived. Oh wow, there are a bunch of old dudes here. You've arrived at All Trades Abbey. This holy place has served as a beacon in people's lives since ancient times. We're struggling a bit at the moment, though. The high priest will fill you in on the details, I'm sure. Oh my gosh. Who's this dude? All Trades Abbey is an absolutely essential institution. Without it, people would have no way of learning the skills they require to survive in this world. You have it. I don't think it's quite fulfilling that role at the moment, though. It's absolute bedlam in here. Okay, so let's just go talk to the dude. Welcome to All Trades Abbey, my child. The Abbey is a place of peace to think back on life's road and to plot the journey ahead. Do you wish to change paths? No? Ah, but I am forgetting myself. It is unfortunately not currently possible to change vocations regardless of your desire. As you have perhaps noticed, we are currently dealing with a rather unique situation. Elderly gentlemen from every corner of the world have gathered here in the hope of becoming bunny girls. What? <laughs> I've told them repeatedly that this is impossible, but none of them will listen. Dealing with them is taking up all our resources. I fear we may have to shut our doors if they cannot be convinced to leave. But wait, perhaps you might be able to help? One of my predecessors once mentioned a book that claimed to provide guidance for those wishing to become lovely young ladies. Do you think you could find it and bring it to me? There's just the faintest chance that it might contain a clue as to how I might give these gentlemen what they so fervently desire. It's called tucking. <laughs> uh, will you acquiesce to this request? Uh, sure. Ah, uh, yes, the book's location. All my predecessor said was that the guide was kept at a place where one might expect to find fashion advice. Somewhere where a lot of young ladies gather. 
Beyond that, I'm unsure what this place might be, but if you find somewhere that fits the bill, take a look on its bookshelves, and I'm sure you will find what you seek eventually. I appreciate that all this information is a little on the vague side, but I am afraid it is all I have. Still, you seem a resourceful fellow. I'm sure you will be back with the book before I know it. Gee, where do lots of young mademoiselles gather? I wonder. All Trades Abbey has always attracted all sorts of people, as the name suggests, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone leaving here as a bunny girl. I know what you're thinking, is that even a real vocation? It's a good question, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you the answer. Aren't you a bunny girl? check all of them there's nothing of interest come on let's make sure all right nothing of interest on that side let's check the other side eh. Eh. oh I can't get to that one okay fine so guess where we're off to Okay, no, we've been there and we couldn't do anything there yet. Uh, same with that one. What's this one? Altar of the Undeciphered. Oh, this is Dragon Quest X, which was never released in North America, which is why it's titled as Undeciphered. We come from a village named Tenten. It is a place situated on a remote island where we have been free to live our lives in peace until now. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. One day, without the slightest warning, a horde of monsters descended upon the village and burned it to the ground. We both lost our lives in the carnage, along with many of our kith and kin. Wait, where am I? Is this... Is this heaven? As they were wrenched from our bodies, our spirits heard a voice from above. It told us that we had a destiny to fulfill, and that we were to be reborn as members of one of the five tribes. The same voice led us here, and then suddenly was gone. It was then that a fiend appeared and announced himself as the Revivalist. He told us he would not permit us to be reborn from one of the five tribes, but that we must instead take the form of monsters. As you might imagine, this was none too tempting an offer. Thus we find ourselves stuck. To rid this room of the monsters who occupy it, the revivalists must be hunted down and defeated. But in our current form, this feat is beyond us. Will you come to our aid? Hell yeah. Before vanishing, he declared that he was determined to find an instrument called the Lyre of Ire. Where have we heard that name before? As to his appearance, he takes the form of an old man. Should you find such a figure acting suspiciously on the trail of the Lyre, the chances are that you have found your man. All we can do is wish you the very best of luck. Please, we beg of you, find him and defeat him. Find them and destroy them! Only then will we be able to re be reborn and fulfill our destiny. Okay. I see. Oh, I should probably have talked to the girl there. I mean, I still can. I still can. The Lyre of Ire was one of the previous um, past places. It was like the first one we went to. I think. Okay, I'm going to talk to her. Do you see the five statues over there? They represent the five tribes, one of which we are to choose as the form in which to be reborn. Beginning with the one next to me, they are, in order, a wetling, a dwarf, an elf, a poppet, and an ogre. My plan was to be reborn as an ogre, the most powerful of the tribes, at least in terms of brute strength. But I do not want to be a troll at all. That is different altogether. 
No, troll sounds kind of terrible, I'll be honest. I wouldn't want to be a troll either. An ogre now? I could be an ogre. An ogress, I guess. Okay, so is this the one? No, it's not that one. Is it this one? Nope. Can't even access that one. Moonahan sounds right. Was it in Moonahan? Takes the form of an old man. No, it's not this one. Dang it! I don't remember which one it is. Gallenholm? Was that it? Was it Gallenholm? Maybe? I think it was this one. Okay, I'm guessing then that we don't have access to this yet, and we'll just have to wait. Because I'm, like, 90% certain this is where the Liar of Ire was. Okay, cool. We'll just go then. We'll just go then, because I'm not sure what else to do here. Um, I'm That one we need the the Ruby Fury Road or something. We have to talk to someone in a different one to unlock that one. Okay, for that one we need. All right, so we're just gonna leave. Academy de Notre Maître de Medaille. And then to its library. Um, yeah. I think also we might have missed a quest here that's only accessible at night. So we might have to come back here at night. that uh, thing with the ghost. Off to the bibliotheque. I feel like when we were reading all of the books in this room, there was something about bunny girls. Okay, we know all those recipes. Okay, this is about the founding of the school. What luck, we found the bunny girl's Bible. Hello, Gooey. 
Oh, right. It's our lucky day now. Okay. I'm guessing I don't need to worry about any of this now. But we do need to come back here when it is night time. Now the question is, can I just stay at the inn here to make it night? Sometimes that's an option. And sometimes it's not. Nope, guess not. Did not let me pick what time of day I wanted to stay till. Whoops. Okay, so we will instead zoom to a random campsite. Stay at the campsite until it is nighttime, and then we will come back to the academy. So then for the night, rest until night. Academy. Okay, don't see a ghost girl in here. How about in here? Is that you? Are you the ghost girl? You, you can see me? Yay! It's nice to have someone to talk to at last. I'm Rose. Or at least I was. I died when I was ten years old. Now I'm just a ghost. Oh, but don't worry, I'm not a scary ghost. I wouldn't say boo to a goose. The truth is, I don't really want to haunt this place. I'd like to go to Yggdrasil and be with my mummy and daddy, but I'm stuck here until my final wish comes true. Well, what's your final wish? Okay, well, I guess I can't help her if she won't tell me what her wish is. All right, so back to Tickington. Just cat things. The cat had to go to the vet today for a standard checkup, among other things. However, the cat is not well behaved at the vet, and so in order for the vet to do the standard checkup things, the cat has to be put under anesthesia. <laughs> and now, she's full of beans. I mean, she was always full of beans. It's not... That's not a new thing. All right, back to Tickington. So that was All Trades Abbey. This one? Nope. This one? Nope. This one. Yes. Yes, that one. I remember All Trades Abbey. I don't remember this game, though. Okay, I found the thing. But I feel like... Do I need, did I talk to everybody? Okay, well, whatever. We'll figure it out. Yes. The Bunny Girl's Bible. Certainly sounds like the kind of book we need. Let's take a look inside and see. Oh, oh my. Goodness me. Well, it's certainly quite the page turner. I shall have to make time to peruse its contents in more detail later on. Ahem. But most importantly for our immediate purposes, 
It does seem to contain instructions on how to turn anyone into a lovely young lady. Which means that we can finally give our elderly friends what they want and bring them back to the Abbey at last. Bring peace back to the Abbey at last. And we got a golden pickaxe. This is a dark time, my child. The world is overrun with monsters and chaos reigns supreme. All Trades Abbey has always been a place where people come to learn the skills required to overcome such challenges. And thanks to your selflessness to coming to our aid, we were able to fulfill that function once again. Thank you, my child. Our debt to you is great indeed. Fogies just want to have fun. Thonk. It does sound like Game Boy music. I think this is Dragon Quest 6. If my... Like, if it starts at 1 here on the circle and goes around to 10, then this one's Dragon Quest 6. Offering puff puffs. It's no use looking like a bunny girl unless you know how to act one like one. You'll still just be an old man on the inside. Don't these people know anything? Apparently not. they all decide they wanted to be bunny girls. That's super weird. Did I talk to everybody? Please form an orderly queue. Okay, this place is weird. But I feel like... Having done that, did that open up anything here in Chateau Felix? Did that send... What's his face back? Nope, Master Felix is still gone. Okay, cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool beans, cool legumes. Uh, then I think we are done here because I don't know what else to do. And again, I'm pretty sure we will have access to these going forward. I gotta figure out what this uh, golden pickaxe is supposed to do though. Okay. Time has come, the walrus said, to talk of many things. Of shoes and ships and sealing wax, of cabbages and kings. Such stately music. Alright, we are officially ready to go take on the first forest. So that's what we're going to go do. Yeah, that only took like 30 minutes to do that cleanup because we did a lot of the cleanup Friday night. Almost all of the cleanup, in fact. So, onward! So we're looking for... Uh, sprite bulbs that are actually white bulbs, and oh, these these dudes want to these dudes want to go. Let's go. 
Bring it on, Blood Bonnet. Ew, gross. Get out of here with that. Not bad at all. You didn't even do anything, Rab. Okay. Hey, up. Take this. And stay down. Well, they give good experience. Damn. I guess we're gonna fight this dragon thing. Ethereal Serpent. Well, now it's dead. Not that ethereal after all, are you, bud? Mini metals, specifically. I should have turned in my mini metals while I was at the frickin'. It's fine. It's fine. I knew that was an enemy, and I still poked it. It's like, I do that every time. I'm like, that's probably an enemy. I should touch it. Well. It's fine. They weren't that hard to beat. Oh, and we got... Yeah, let's use some of those skill points. Hot damn. What do we got? Miracle Slash, Sword Stance, Attack Power, Critical Hit Chance, Giga Slash. We could learn Zap, Poof. I feel like Giga Slash is probably our best bet. Yeah, assail all enemies with bolting blazing lightning. Bolts of blazing lightning. And we have the stuff for it, too. Giga burst with just... As long as everybody's pepped up. Cool. Critical hit chance is probably going to be my next go-to, but sword stance wouldn't be too bad either, because that does come with a pep power. I don't care about great swords. I mean, I do, but only in so much as to unlock that one. So, we'll we'll do all of these eventually to get to this one, but only after we've unlocked all of the rest of the stuff. Yeah. All right, Eric. Let's look at let's look at Eric. Power throw, starburst throw, dodge chance. Victimizer is a good skill, but I don't ever really use that on him. Like dodge chance, though. I'm a fan of that. Increases dodge chance. Uh, who else? Has, oh, everybody's got a whole bunch. All her whips are maxed out. Let's look at Vim. Magical Might? Sure. Spooky Aura. Maximum. Yeah, yeah we'll increase that one. Alright. Serena, what you got, girl? What you got? Sure. Works for me. Silvando. We were working on your showmanship, weren't we, bud? No, wait, not knives. Swords. Yeah, let's do his swords next.
Okay. Definitely could be a chance. And max. Alright. Yeah, get our boy some agility up in this. That's what he really needs. Don't care about much else. Alright. Moving right along. He didn't even react. That's weird. Well, how convenient. Did we learn anything new? I don't think we've learned anything new. No. Is there anything I feel strongly about reworking? No. We're good. Oh, I picked up that golden pickaxe. What is that? A tool that can turn even an ordinary mining expedition into a bullion bonanza. Hmm. I should give that to Eric. Oh, but I like his agility increase. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth it! Uh, how about Silvando? You know what? Yeah, I'll give it to Silvando. Because he is occasionally our main healer. Which way? Well, let's go this way first because I bet there's stuff down there. I was right. Platinum ore, platinum ore, silver ore. Silver ore? Ooh. Four items, that's nice. Give me the goods. A magic circle. Oh, is that? It is.
Remember how I was saying I didn't need to rework anything. We're gonna rework that magic circle. Because even if it's just a plus one, that puts him back to the same attack that he had with the plus three Winter's Wing, so. All right, let's uh, not risk that again. Why are you like this? We'll take it. Plus two is fine. We are okay with plus two. Now, we're, we're good. That's all I really needed to rework. Although I probably should rework Jade's outfit since she's been wearing it for literally this whole time. I'm not here for you guys. We're moving on with our lives. We're probably going to have to fight a whole bunch of those sprite bulbs to get the white bulbs, so... Right. Okay. This is slightly confusing. camera died again, didn't it? Yep, because guess whose phone came unplugged? Mine. Every time. I really gotta get a better charge. Will it even restart? restarting. Give me a minute. I'm gonna go fight them things. Well, I try to convince my phone to restart. Another day, another victory. Fight ended way too fast. No. Okay. Okay. Ah. I think I almost got the camera back. Ugh. Almost. Almost. 
Almost. <laughs> Plugged in. All right. Step two. Step three. Hey! There I am. All right. We got it back. It's fine. No one panic. Anyway. Sorry about that. I really need to get a better camera, y'all. Okay, so we're going this way. We are exploring this forest. I'm just hoping my camera doesn't die again. Hey, look, there's a dude in this tree. And he disappeared. That's on brand. So my camera is actually my cell phone. Because, uh, it's the only decent camera I could afford slash was available at the time. So it's just an app on my phone that I'm using, um, to turn my phone camera into a webcam, essentially. I do have a proper webcam, but it is, like, super zoomed out, and they're, like, it's a wide-angle lens. And there's no way to zoom in so that it's just this. I would be like, hang on, I'll show you how far back I would be like. No, it's even worse than that. It'd be like, I'd be like way back here. And it's just, it's not, it's not ideal. So I'm using this. The problem is, oh, I zoomed in too far. The problem with this is that it drains my battery on my phone. So I've got my phone plugged in, but the charger that I have for my computer setup, it like it wiggles. And if it wiggles too much, it disconnects. And then my phone isn't charging and then it dies. You know, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you for seeing and understanding, you know, because 2020 meant that basically everybody needed a webcam all of a sudden, so all of the good ones that were affordable are sold out, and now they're not affordable anymore because everybody needed one. So, hence me just straight up using my cell phone, you know. It's not the perfect solution, but it's a decent solution. Okay, that's where I just came from. We got that one. Something over here. We should probably be fighting these mobs since they want to fight us, you know? It does work pretty well. Except when it's way behind for whatever reason. That was weird. You bastard! I just killed him! Alright, we'll kill him again. Not bad at all. Jowler. Well, that was easy. All right. All right. Y'all want to go? Let's go. Fight. For the old dog yet. Mustadon. Okay. There's a lot 
of harpy things in here. Sorry, they're fruity succubats. There's a joke here. Veronica wins again. You didn't do anything, Veronica. Okay. Is this set to ultra? It is. Just making sure this is as fast as we can do. This is as fast as we can do. Easy Pretty fast, actually. They want my blood so bad. How to outdo the undead. Zombie slayer. Oh, we can make zombie slayer sounds. That's cool. We could have bought them before. Okay, so, yeah, changing my mind on this. Because he needs the magic restoration. Hey, listen! Whoop. Did she say, hey, listen? She did. Blast off. That's rude. Falling and can't get up. Oh, only one MP? I mean, it's better than zero MP. You know, it'll fix that. If we just upgrade the damn thing. Where do I get an extra mural? Oh, I could just buy it, apparently. It is, it is a good upgrade for Silvando. And we can afford to. My phone just died again, didn't it? Rick! No, it's on. It's charging. What the heck? Why did I freeze this time? Is this just a problem with the app? I think this one's just a problem with the app. I don't know why it froze. I don't know what the deal is with that. Oh gosh. And I don't know where it was before. Because I have to unmount it every time that I have to fix it. Yay! Ah, too much zoom. Too much. There, that'll do. All right. Let's, let's do this thing. <laughs> Oh dear. That's just rude. We're just gonna stop. I gotta get new camera setup, y'all. That's, that's what this has taught me. We need new camera setup. Or just like a new charger for the phone, which is probably gonna be much easier to attain. 
Anyway, perfection! Zombie Slayer plus three! <laughs> so distracted by the technical difficulties. It's fine. We got it sorted. I hope. Uh, rework an item. We want to rework Eric's supplicants to do more things. And then we have to go back and make a second zombie slayer for Silvando because he's dual wielding. Shit. That is not gonna be great. That might be a plus two. It's only a difficulty one, so it might be a plus two. Plus two. I'll take it. Plus two is fine. Freaking frack. Didn't I say? Didn't I say? I did. And then we didn't do it. Ugh. Zombie Slayer. Yeah, buy the thing. We're just gonna we're just gonna call it there that's good enough that's good enough for an offhand we already made a perfect one so the imperfect one can go in the offhand all right now we're done here all right yep he's already got that Silvando guess what boo I got you a present a massive upgrade for him. Look at how that is an unfortunate angle. <laughs> okay, so we came from that one, so we're going to go through this one, over to this side. And there's a treasure chest. Aw, yeah. Silvando is best boy, Josh. You are right. Some magic water, not that we ever freaking use our magic water. Okay, so we need to go this way and around to this tightrope. Because of course we need to walk on a tight rope. Tight tight. Tight rope. Those are the words that I need to use. We still haven't seen the red kale or the sprite bulbs. It's just been these harpy things. So, what's this way? There's gotta be something down here. There's a treasure chest. Alright. Fight some dudes. Damn, girl. Jade is not here to play. <sighs> what? Grab, you bastard. <sighs> not bad at all. It's interesting that, like, when one of your party members is charmed and you do, like, a thing that attacks all the enemies, it attacks your charmed party member. You know what? 
Because we never freaking use it. Let's use this. Just one. Just to see how it feels. Okay. Up this way. Nope, that's a tree. Alright, up this way. Oh, hey, you can kind of see the thing up there. That's where we're going. That's where we're trying to go. There is... Something... That, oh, there's a campsite over here. That's convenient. I guess I didn't need to use that. Whoops. It's fine. Check the sparkly spots. There's two campsites in here, actually. That's interesting. Okay. This away. Oh, what are you? Infanticore. Is that like a baby manticore? Is that what that is? It doesn't matter, it's dead now. Decent experience from it. Is this, is this, are you red? No, I bet whatever the red kale is, it'll probably glitter at me. That's how we do here in the Dragon Quest XI. Things are glittery. But they are important. At least in theory. Right? It'll kind of glitter at me. It's my thinking. Or it'll in some way look different from other stuff. It's a bell cap. Which is a thing that we can't buy. Because I remember trying to build something that required it and it being like, you can't purchase that. What the heck is the red kale? No red kale, there's no white bulbs, sprite bulbs, whatever. Oh, is this the red kale? Nice, found the red kale, okay. We can do that, but we're going to do that after we get to the next campsite. Because then we can just work back to that upper campsite and not have to redo this part. Oh, there they are. Hello, boys. Mama's home. Oh. Like, it's just there. That is not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be much harder to find this thing. Oh. How much health does this thing have? Damn. Thing had a lot of health. Another victory. And we got our Wishteria seeds. Cool. So that's both of those quests completed. Are you ready for this? There we go. Jade's finally pepped up. That took forever. What? 
We lost the pep on this team. Damn it. Okay, well, we're gonna go with that team then. Victory! Those swords are ridiculously sized for Silvando. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bruh, what is the deal? Okay, well, whatever. He's really proud of his swords, I guess. Bedazzle the zombies and then slay them. I, you know, that's not a terrible plan, actually. Let's fight this dragon thing. Let's Blue do dragon, this. in fact. Ow. The enemies are starting to get to attack twice, like the basic, the basic enemies. Although this is the first forest, so. <laughs> Oh, I forgot I had hero on manual. I can fix that. Score one for the good guys. I just keep getting better. That's right, you do, Veronica. You are the best. It is no secret that I kind of love you the most. Oh, it's happening. Oh. 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 Oh, how oh, this trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. <gasps> uh, mm. oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? Oh. So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. <laughs> Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from. Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. Hmm. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? Mm -mm. No. The High Priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Veronica? Hmm? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll... fall 
at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <sighs> but I hope they do. All right, zoom back to Arborea. Turn in those two quests. Because we are almost there, friends. So close. So very, very close. Okay. We gotta go talk to the little girl over here and give her the Wisteria seeds. You kept your promise! Thank you so much! My grandfather told me that the bigger the wish that you ask of the seeds, the prettier the flowers will be when they finally bloom. I wonder if my Wisterias will be pretty. Actually, I don't have to wonder. I just have to wish and wait, and someday soon I'll see for myself. Thanks to you, I can dream of the future again. Here, I want you to have this. Thunk. Alright, don't waste your wish on them blooming. Wish, wish to not be sick. All right, hello cat. Featuring cat tail, that was the cat. There you go. Impromptu visit from cat tail. Ooh, wait, wait a second. Hello. Hello. All right. See the sorcery. Hmm. Well, that little side trip seems to have been worth it. Have you been in this house? I've been in this house, surely. Thought I did a good job scouring this place. Let's check this bookshelf. Many have heard the legend of Arborea's great statue of the sage having been built long ago by an itinerant architect who spent the better part of his life on this one single masterpiece. What is less well known is that the statue was created as a counterpart to another, that of the luminary which stands in ancient Dundrasil. Indeed, it would seem that the fates of these two great statues were as wedded to one another as those of their subjects. So dear reader, should your travels ever take you to Dundrasil, be sure to pay your respects to mighty Erdwin. Who knows what benefits the blessings of both these great monuments might bring. Hmm. I don't remember reading that before. Well, that, that sells it. We did not enter this house previously. Okay. Cool. Well. Good thing we took that side trip here. And then I think we're going to pop back to... Uh, the Mini Metal Academy. Le Académie de Montre Maître de Metallier! Wow. You are a true servant of salubrity, my young friend. A butterfly baton. I think that's for Serena. If I had to guess. Yep.
off to the academy. I don't know if we have enough mini medals to get anything. I just want to turn them in because I don't know what's going to happen next. And if there is cool shit to be had, I want it as soon as possible, you know? I want the cool shit. I want the world. I want the whole world. Oh, we're gonna get something. Kit fit for a king. Ooh, is that Rab's costume? Please be Rab's costume. Crowns of Dundrasil, Drasilian dress coats. I think this is Rab's costume. When your total reaches 35, I will reward you with a falcon blade. Now isn't that a maximally magnificent prize? It is a maximally magnificent prize. I have no idea how many I'm supposed to have by this point, by the way. I genuinely don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna, um... We, yes, Rab gets costume. Hell to the mother truck and F, yes. <laughs> All right. Use every single bit of focus. <laughs> Not perfect, but plus two. We will take a plus two. Plus two is fine with me. Let's make that crown. Yes, please. I don't even care how much it costs. My boy Rab needs a new outfit. We're not going to do better than that. That's as good as we're going to get. <laughs> Perfect! It's hard to improve upon perfection. By definition, it cannot be done. Alright. We got our boy Rab some new digs. And since we're here, let's just go ahead... Upgrade the strong Sam for Jade because she's been stuck with that stupid thing for ages. My camera's being freaking again. It's just a little bit on the slow side. I'm not sure why. Okay. All right. Well. Oh, damn.
Nope. Okay, well, whatever. Should I have stopped? Should I have stopped? No, it's plus two. Plus two is fine. Get out! Look how good he looks! Except, was that other... Was the princess peacoat better? No, not really. Not really. I'd rather have the defense than the rest of it. Yeah, that's definitely... That's fine with me. The outfit is called the Sun Lord. Nope, so far I don't like either of these outfits for Jade. Don't get me wrong, the bunny outfit is cute. But like, I don't want her to walk around in that. That's just exploitative. Oh, we're playing this to the real ending. We're not gonna stop. We, we play to the good ending, which, yes, that does mean that there's gonna be, like... Well, I was just talking to Keen about it earlier today. Uh, we'll probably be playing this game for at least another month. Alright, back to the first forest summit. It is a lot of game. Well, and this is the definitive version as well, so there's a little bit more stuff, too. It's a lot of game, but it's gotta be done. Someone's gotta do it, and it's gonna be me. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and save here. And I'm actually gonna save it in this slot, just in case we've accidentally done something that we shouldn't have done. Just in cases. I just want to, like, cover my bases. That's everything that I need from you right now. Thank you very much, Lee. And upward we go. Yep. Okay. Don't be fooled. <laughs> That's always where I would have put a treasure chest. One extra mini metal. It won't be enough to get us that uh, falcon blade, so I'm not going to worry about going back for it. Here we go. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Ah, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? <sighs> Shenron. No, Shenron is not here. Wrong number of orbs, anyway. There are seven Dragon Balls. Okay, it is a little bit dragony. It's Rainbow Road. Of rainbows. It's beautiful. 
and twisty as hell for no apparent reason. Looks like it's finally time for our date with Destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. Hmm. Cat, no. The cat moved the camera. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. The World Tree Upper Level. I think this will take us back down if we need to go down. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm pretty sure we've done everything we need to do. Before we face the next time. Y'all, we're in a giant tree and it is super hella pretty. Isle of Lunaria. Do you think those little light things are like the souls of people? Maybe? I don't know, but they're real pretty. fully healed. Good on equipment. Um, we saved. I think this is the lineup I want. Uh, okay. Let's see what happens next. is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's the source of all life. It's not exactly going to be small now, is it? Hmm. It's so fascinating. I'm sort of scared, but I want to touch it. That's what she said. very nice the naughty thing gave me a shock that is also what she said I am so it should I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies after all only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness the sword of light now, laddie, it's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Jack. Damn you, Jasper. How did you find us? Why are Eric and I always on the same wavelength?
find you. <laughs> Did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> What was that? Now, now, princess. Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? <laughs> what orb is that? What? That's not one of the orbs! <laughs> Freaking camera. Uh, can't move. Now, tremble before me. Tremble with gratitude. Your sacrifice shall pave the way for my ascent to glory. It's the seventh orb, and that's why we didn't get Shenron. That's why we just got Rainbow Road. You need all seven orbs to get Shenron, clearly. Thank you, Josh. That was correct. <laughs> Come, Luminary, all of you, on your feet. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. Your journey ends here. Who's ready for an unwinnable fight? How did Jasper get so strong? We're just gonna... Focus on healing. Focus on healing. Fight wisely. Actually, yeah. And we're just gonna... <laughs> I'm coming, darling. Until the dark barrier is broken, no attacks can get through. Huzzah! Yep. Literally can't do it. Ow. Ah, uh, super ow. Fridge. Ah, uh, su- Frick! I lost my sweet armor! Everybody lost their cool outfits. I can't get through that aura. What? What is it? It's a power the like of which we've never seen. Could he be. Surely not. Oh. So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. Whosoever controls it, controls the world. Or so they say. Just occasional cattail, it's fine. Just wait till she jumps up on Not the chair behind me. Not one step further, Jasper. Now you see it with your own eyes, sire. He is no longer himself. The darkness has him entirely in its thrall. How long he has deceived us, I do not know, but deceive us he has. Jasper is a traitor to Heliodor and to the world! <laughs> Good. 
confess, scoundrel. Just how cheaply did you sell your soul? On second thought, spare me your wretched excuses. In the name and presence of His Majesty, I pronounce you guilty. Prepare to face your punishment. You have served me well, Hendrik. Your, your, your Majesty, what is the meaning of this? Um, what? Oh, hell. Jasper, it seems you have snared us a luminary. Very impressive. It is an honor to serve you, as always. <laughs> Lord Mordigan. Well, at least we have a face for it now. King was... he was Mordigan all along. Explains why he tried to kill us so many times. Hmm. Now, Luminary, you are in my power. And soon, your power will belong to me. This blade is the fabled sword of light. Not very fitting for the Lord of Shadows. Hill, source of all life. Feel <sighs> your power to me. <laughs> Why would you do that, though?
I have nothing snarky to add. Although I see <laughs> Gooey has rightly pointed out that uh, Mortigan apparently wears black nail polish. <laughs> What's the matter, dearie? Can't you sleep? No, Mum. You're still upset about your little fight with Gemma, eh? She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. Okay. In his defense, that sounds hilarious. <laughs> Oi, don't laugh. Look at this great big lunch she's given me. I see it. And I saw the one on her head, too. You gave her that, didn't you? Now you listen to me, my lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. But no matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. You do what's right. I... I want to be friends with Jebber again, Mum. What should I do? Why, you talk to her, of course, you big silly. Ask her what she was feeling and why she did what she did. Try to see things from her point of view. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. And do the next right thing. <laughs> That's my boy. Now, time for bed. Night-night, Mum. Night-night, son. Don't you worry about a thing now. It'll all be all right in the morning. Good night. Sleep tight, child of Yggdrasil. The sun, it is sleeping, and the night is still. The stars, they watch over you with twinkling eyes to ward off the darkness till dawn arrives. <laughs> Devs, like Have I spent too much time designing these threads for them to be covered up by some blankets because rightly pointed out, Josh. <laughs> Not yet, master. Our forces have scoured the four corners of the world, but the Luminary is nowhere to be found. He is dead, then. Good. If that is the case, then this world is mine. Getting some real Thanos vibes here. Mordigan has played his hand. The game is all but won. A shroud of deepest darkness has eclipsed the shining sun. And yet, amid the shadows, glimmer tiny specks of light. Faint, flickering flames that rage against the coming of the night. How can such sparks of hope remain when darkness rules the land? Now evil reigns supreme. Who has the strength to take a stand? Interlude! 
This stuff is all new to me. So I'm excited about this. Bondo. What? What happened? Where? Where am I? I'm alive. But how? Sylv! Sylv! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Sylv! Stay with me, Sylv! Come on. No, Silvando, your best boy. <sighs> oh, there you are. You all right, Sylv? Hmm? Oh, oh, sure, Davy, honey. I was just getting a little air. Being cooped up in that cabin was driving me crazy, you know? Oh, come on, Sylv. Cheer up, will ya? I don't think I can take much more of this moping. That day, when Mordegon... There was nothing I could do. He was just too powerful. I thought it was the end for me. For all of us. But this, this is worse than death. To wake up and find everybody gone, and the world consumed by darkness. <sighs> I'm sorry, Tabe, but I just, I can't do this. I know I should feel lucky to be alive, but without the others, I'm nothing, nobody. Right. That's enough of that. Huh? <laughs> Have you lost your bleeding marbles? Since when were them mates of yours the types to let some Lord of Shadows numpty get the better of them, eh? How about you have a bit of bleeding faith in them like you used to? Or did you think saving the world was gonna be easy or something? <sighs> oh. Hey, darling, you're right. <clears throat> if a slip of a thing like me was able to get out of that tangle with Mordagon alive, then the others must have done too. And here I am feeling sorry for myself instead of getting out there and trying to find them. What would Veronica and Eric say if they saw me like this? <laughs> That's more bleeding like it. It's good to have you back, me old mucker. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good to be back, believe me. Now, enough chit chat. It's time for action. We need to make land at the nearest port and find out just how much of a mess the world is in. And once we've done that, we can make a start on fixing it. Sounds like a plan, Sylv. Nearest arbor to here would be over in Gondolia. I'll plot a course right away. That sounds just perfect, honey. Anchors away! Hoist the mainsail! Gondolia, here we come! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Poor Gondolia. Hard to believe this used to be the busiest, most bustling trading port in the old wide world, ain't it? I mean, it ain't a surprise or nothing, but when a lively place like this falls on hard times, well, it's just sad, that's all. Still no use in moping, I suppose. Come on, Sylph, let's have a mooch around and see what the locals have got to say for themselves, shall we? Ah, you are a tourista, see? Ahime, you come at the very bad time. Since Yggdrasil fall, everything is chaos. It is impossible for the merchant like me to operate. 
No ships arrive. The people, they become desperate. Some, they even turn to the life of crime. Santo Silio. Before long, this town is finished. Finito. Per favore, you must be careful. The beastly boys, they see you are a traveler and they attack you immediately. Subito. Already they steal the knapsack of a man who just arrived in town. I see him walk to the piazza after it happened. He looks so, so sad. All right. This town's been full of fear and anxiety ever since Yggdrasil fell, and now it seems some... Um, it has some homegrown hooligans to deal with on top of everything else. I suppose it's to be expected, really. It's easy to stop being nice to others when you're stuck in a daily battle for survival. You see him, no? That man who stare at the sea? He looks so sad. Alora, I tried to sing an happy song for him. Falala, la la gondolia. People come from near, people come from far. People come to become the famous star. Bad day? Hmm? Don't worry, honey. It happens to us all. Hmm? Oh. You're one of those minstrel types, are you? Look, if it's money you want, you'd better go and hassle someone else. I haven't got a penny to give you. Sorry, darling. No can do. It's against my policy to leave people all alone when they look as down in the dumps as you do. <sighs> look, why don't you just tell me what's on your mind? A problem shared is a problem halved. Hmm? That's better. Now we can talk properly. Silvando, entertainer extraordinaire at your service. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, my name's Tetsu. I'm a blacksmith from Hotto, though I haven't been back in a long old while. I'll tell you my story if you really want, but I'm warning you, it doesn't have a happy ending. After all those years away, I thought it was time for me to finally head home, see how my mother was doing, you know. But then the minute I set out on my journey, Yggdrasil fell. That just made me even more desperate to get back, of course. I was so worried about her. I managed to make it as far as Gondolia, but then my luck finally ran out. My luggage was stolen by a gang of thieves who've been terrorizing the town. The Beastly Boys, they call themselves. I can't make the journey to Hotto without all my things. Especially not the lilies of the valley I brought for my mother. They're her favorite flower. I wanted to give them to her to say, well, to say sorry for being away for so long. For leaving her all alone. <laughs> oh, honey, believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Fear not, friend. Your mother will get her flowers. Dave and I will make sure of that. All you need to do is tell us where we can find these beastly boys. Oh, well, if you're sure. There are two merchants, brothers, who run establishments in the southern part of town. I've heard that the Beastly Boys have been hanging around, causing trouble at the Older One's store. A stall in the south of town, huh? All right, we'll be back before you know it. Dave, darling, let's roll! W wait Look, I appreciate you trying to help me, but these are real thugs we're talking about here, and... No offense, but you're just an entertainer, right? 
I wouldn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about me, sweetie. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know? <laughs> this is why Silvando is best boy. All right, so back to the entrance of town. With you can't you see the owners indisposed right now go and do your shopping somewhere else um excuse you well well quite the charmer aren't we darling i can see why you call yourselves the beastly boys now enough with the tough guy act hand over tetsu's knapsack before i have to get nasty hilarious but you picked the wrong guys to clown around with and if you think we're giving anything back to anyone then you really are as stupid as you look. If you want it, you're gonna have to take it. That's the way of the world these days. Show us what you've got, funny man. Get him, boys. Yeah, I'm not really afraid of you. Oh, Dave, are you gonna help us out? Yes, sir. For it now. Oh, oh. Snap. Lovely oh, snap. Now, if you don't mind. What we gonna do with this horrible lot then, Sylv? Well, beastly they may be, but they're not exactly the dangerous thugs we heard about. I can barely swing a sword. What's your story, boys, huh? We didn't start out as criminals. We were fishermen. And very happy fishermen at that. But after Yggdrasil fell, we couldn't take the boats out anymore. Have you seen the sea lately? It's swarming with monsters. Things were just impossible. Most days, we barely had anything to eat world might as well have ended that day we lost our families lost everything and no one came to help us so we had to choose between a life of crime or starving to death and that's no choice at all watch closely darlings this is just an ordinary steel pike, yes? Mm hmm Think again! <laughs> From arms to... Mm. Who's for fresh bread, huh? <gasps> <laughs> Witchcraft? Bon appetit, beastly boys. Eat your fill and forget your wicked ways. You'll be beaming again before you know it. Wait. Who? Who are you? Me? Oh, nobody. Just someone who likes to see people smile. 
Hey, the music's happy again. All right. That's good. I like it when the music is happy. Where's our boy? Where's our boy at? Where's Tetsu? You're back! And in one piece, too! Goodness me! I don't suppose you managed to recover my knapsack as well, did you? <sighs> oh, thank goodness. They're still in one piece. Now I can go home to my mother with my head held high. Thank you, Mr. Silvando. Oh, here. It's not much, but I want you to have these. Oh, Tetsu, darling. Whatever they are, I'm sure they're wonderful. <laughs> You're such a sweetie. Honestly, you deserve much more. Come and visit me in Hotto sometime. I'll be able to thank you properly. Now, I'd better be off. I tell you to be careful, but I've got a feeling you'll be just fine. Bye for now. <laughs> Ta da! Here, you all right, Sil? Oh, I'm better than all right, darling. I found it. My purpose in life. My raison d'etre. You know how I've been so down in the dumps thinking about all the despair and suffering in the world? Well, if that's what's making me so unhappy, there's only one thing to do about it. Get out there and fix the problem. Help make people happy again. Just because I can't save the world with some grand heroic gesture, that doesn't mean I can't do it one smile at a time. That's my Silver. I'm with you all the way. Hmm. Hmm. We heard everything you just said. Huh? This MT leaves from before. I hope they ain't spoiling for another fight. Didn't they learn a lesson first time round? You have to let us come with you. You have to let us help people. We're done with our life of crime, thanks to you. You want to tag along? Hmm. Well, I hope you understand it won't be easy. I can't guarantee you'll get home in one piece. We don't care! Hmm. Well, in that case, welcome aboard, darlings. Hey! Yes! Three new friends join Silvando's merry band. Now, as luck would have it, I've got you all a welcome gift. Here, take one each now. Don't be greedy. <gasps> wow. Oh, they're simply <laughs> fabulous. Darlings, you look splendid. I don't get it, Sil. What are they? They're the presents dear old Tetsu gave us. If we're going to be traveling around spreading happiness and laughter, we'll need to look the part, no? All right. We're all set. Let's get out there and bring some sunshine back into the world. <laughs> Silvando's super special smile spreading parade starts right here. Yeah! Right. How about we get out of here and find some more folks in need of help, eh? Reckon we could do worse than take a bushes round that Laguna de Gondolia place for a start. Well, they still have some stuff. That's interesting. But I think I'm good. All right, to Laguna de Gondolia.
picking a random path. Well, all the enemies are afraid of us. That's probably a good sign. That one's... I like the way he slaps. Leave it to me. Huh. Is that all you got? Fabulous, darling. Okay. I don't know how to say this except this is weird. What am I looking for? I don't I have no idea what we're looking for. Greetings, fellow travelers. I am a peripatetic priest. When Yggdrasil fell, I resolved to roam Erdrea, bringing comfort and solace to those who might need it most. Alas, there is only so much that one may do. For every one person I help, there are also ten that I fail. Their pain voices haunt me constantly. They keep me awake at night. In fact, I can barely remember the last time that I slept. I'm so... tired. I fear... I fear I may be unable to continue my mission. And I was a... Boy, my mother would give me a cup of hot milk whenever I couldn't sleep. It always seemed to do the trick. I'm sure it will work now, too, but sadly things aren't quite that simple. You see, the milk my mother gave me was no ordinary milk. Oh no, she said it had to come from a talking cow. Now, as luck would have it, there's a talking cow grazing here. Sadly, recent events appear to have put her in a melancholy mood, and she can no longer produce any milk. You're an entertainer, aren't you? Do you think you, you might be able to cheer her up? Yeah, we'll do the thing. Leave it to us, darling. We'll have a smile on that cow's face in no time flat. She'll be making milk like nobody's business before you know it. We literally, like, just walked past her. Didn't we? Yeah, she's right here. What's up, cow? The out looks utterly gloomy. I can't predict the weather anymore, and I can't produce a drop of milk either. Yes, Silv, me old gran used to have a dairy cow. Whenever the old moo got down in the dumps, we'd just do a couple of song and dance numbers, and she'd be as happy as Larry in no time. I reckon the same trick could work on this one here and all. It's gotta be worth a try, eh? Did someone say song and dance? I think that can be arranged. This bovine beauty's in, fair, in for the show of a lifetime. Come on, boys. Let's give it everything we've got. Silvando and company give it all, give it their all, and put on the performance of a lifetime to perk up the poor sad cow. Moo? I, I feel better. The gloom is lifting. In fact, I feel utterly fabulous. Thank you, my friends. That was very moving. I feel much better now. Here, please take this by way of thanks. Moo. And we got some fresh milk. This is weird, y'all. Nice one. Now we got some of that special milk the priest who couldn't sleep wanted. Let's go and give him a glug or two, shall we? Yep, this is weird as shit. Yeah, we got you your milk. If you want to help other people, first you've got to look out for number one. You can't do anything for anybody if you're half asleep. Yes. Yes, you're right. Feeling guilty about everything I failed to do won't get me anywhere, and it won't help anyone else either. 
I suppose I've always known that deep down, but now I see it clearly, and it's all because of you. Thank you. I mean it. Oh, honey, don't mention it. Now come on, get some milk down you so you can sleep. We'll keep an eye out for monsters, don't worry. Silvano and company watch over their new friend as he falls into a deep and peaceful sleep. Then morning comes. I haven't slept that well in years. Goodness me, I feel so much better. And what's more, I've come to a decision. I've realized I'll be able to help a lot more people if I join forces with you. After all, there's only so much one man can do by himself. So what do you say? Will you allow me to come with you? Yes, sir. Of course, darling. Helping people's what we're all about. Okay. I guess we just keep going? Make your way to Hato via Galopolis, helping troubled travelers you meet along the way. I don't see any of the, like, flying mounts either, so... We're hoofing it. Wait, can Sylvanda ride a horse? He can't seem to make it work right now. Okay. Well then. Onward, I guess. isn't it? You're the great Silvando. I sure am, honey. And who might you be, hmm? Oh, uh, I'm nobody. Not yet, anyway. I just joined the circus in Galopolis, you see. Oh, the others aren't gonna believe this. It's such an honor to meet you. You're the reason I chose the life of the entertainer, you know. One look at you in action, and I knew what I wanted to be. I ran away and joined up as soon as I could. Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. But wait... If you're in the Circus in Galopolis, what are you doing all the way out here? Well, to cut a long story short, we're closing down. Nobody wants to see people clowning around when the world's the way it is. But we're doing one last performance first. Gotta go out with a bang, right? Trouble is, we don't have enough people to pull off what the Ringmaster's got planned. So that's why I'm out here. I'm on the hunt for people who want a taste of showbiz before it's too late. Sadly, there don't seem to be many of those around. So... Suppose you know what's coming. Will you join us for one last big show? Oh, thank you. Thank you. With the great Silvando at the top of the bill, it's going to be a night to remember for sure. Ugh, but even with you on board, we're still a couple of performers short. I don't suppose you could help us look for two more people who'd be willing to join in. Don't bother with the desert. Coming out here was a stupid idea. I should have stuck downtown Galopolis. There's always plenty of talent there. And with your reputation, not to mention your powers of persuasion, they'll be queuing around the block to sign up. Right. I'd better head back to the big top and start getting ready. Stop by and see me if you need anything or want some advice. Good luck and thanks for all your help. Okay.
Monsters all have red eyes. Has anybody noticed this? It's only moderately terrifying. A strip of sneak skin. Let me guess, that area is currently off limits. Good sir, you may be wondering what a bard is doing in a place such as this. Well, the truth is I set out on a journey to inspire the world through the medium of rhythm and rhyme. Alas, I'm learning that music is a far more subjective matter than I had thought. Not so long ago, I was forced to perform for a group of dancing monsters who had no appreciation for my work whatsoever. Hmm? Where was this? Oh, it was south of Galopolis. Not a place I shall be visiting again. Do be careful, should you have cause to venture there. South of Galapagos. All right. A lot, of, a lot of running. We're just running. South of Galapagos, a group of dancing monsters. I gotta check this out. Well, found him. Por favor, please, you must help. All right, all right, take it easy. What's got into you, eh? Look over there, Porahi. I am a caballero from Puerto Valor. I heard that very many people were suffering after the fall of Yggdrasil, so I felt it was my duty to try and help them. Aye, but being a hero is much harder than I realized. When I saw these monsters, I froze with fear, and now I can do nothing. It is shameful to ask, but I have no choice. Por favor, senor. Will you help these people in my place? It's your lucky day, darling. When it comes to biffing, bullying beasties, there's no one like the great Silvando. Muchas gracias. You are very courageous, hombre. I am not, so I will have to stay here until you are done. <clears throat> All right, fight me. We've got soul, we've got... Hey, what are you doing? You're ruining our rhythm. We get very angry if we get out of step. And you don't want to make us angry now, do you? Actually, that's enough of your artless prancing. We'll teach you to pick on poor, innocent people. Oh, so it's like that, is it? Can't bear to see someone with groovier moves than you? Well, come here and let us give you a little dancing lesson. Come on, boys. Vicious Fandango. Take this. Lando is not amused. Take this. Leave it to me. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly indeed. I really thought we were done for when we ran into those monsters. Thanks ever so much for stepping in when you did. Thank you very much for helping us, mister. We're going home now. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. The mother and daughter set off on their journey home. Muchas gracias, senor. I really thought I would be able to help them, but in the moment, all my confidence disappeared. Well, at least you tried to do the right thing, honey. Serving the weak untiringly, and all that, eh? Uh? Que? You know the pledge, but how? Oh, it's just something I heard long, long ago. It stuck with me, though. And whatever happens, you mustn't forget it either. Serve the weak untiringly, 
Never retreat in the face of adversary. Adversity. Advers Adversity. And all that other stuff. See, see, I understand. And don't be so hard on yourself. Sure, maybe you didn't get to be the hero this time, but at least you tried. You'll make a fine knight one day, I'm sure. Gracias, senor. You are truly a wonderful person. In fact, you remind me of my master. The one who inspired me to become a caballero in the first place. You have the same strength. The same spirit. Por favor, senor. You must become my new master. I could learn so much from you. Please, will you allow me to accompany you on your adventures? Yes. Oh, who am I to stand in the way of a young caballero who wants to fulfill his destiny? You're more than welcome to join us, darling. Gracias, senor. I will honor the pledge and make you proud. I promise. Right. How many is that now? You can now choose which of Sylvanda's new friends will fight alongside him in battle. Try talking to them when you're next at a campsite. Okay. The fuck is that? I don't know, and I don't want to know. That treasure chest is open. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. Just running to Galopolis. We have a show to put on, darling. We are all doomed. Circuses will not save us. Greetings, stranger. I sense that you are looking for someone. Haha, <laughs> do not attempt to deny it. I know everything. What's more, I am in a position to help you find the one that you seek. Be they a long lost brother or a brand new lover, my crystal balls will guide you to them. I don't want to know about your crystal balls, man. Don't worry, I'm not in it for the money. I just thought that people might need a bit of spiritual guidance, what with Yggdrasil having falling and all. Savando so invites the fortune teller to join the circus. You want me to join the circus? Gosh, even I didn't see that one coming. Are you sure about this? I mean, I'm just a fortune teller. Do you really think I'm going to fit the bill? I'll tell you what, why don't we let my crystal balls decide? Now listen carefully, I'm going to picture one, and only one, of these wondrous yellow, wondrous orbs, red, yellow, or blue. All you've got to do is choose one. You pick the one I'm picturing, and I'll know we were destined to work together. Um... The balls tell all, the balls tell all, what color will they show us? If lies they tell, then off to hell, that dark place down below us. They speak of fire, they speak of flames, they speak of sunset's glow. The balls tell all, the balls tell all, what color do they show? I... The red one? Yay, we got it right! My crystal balls and I are at your service. Let me know what you want me to do at the circus and I'll give it my best shot. All right. Do you guys see it too? He's here, but he's also over there. He's here. He's there. Um, what?
Apparently I'm not supposed to see this part. Okay, there's a drummer in front of the church, according to that dude. Hey, this guy's still here. Alright, the church is over here somewhere. It's Margarita, Silvando's trusty steed. She looks terribly sad, as though she might cry at any moment. Margarita, darling. Has this awful darkness that's engulfed the world upset you too? Oh, it breaks my heart to see you suffering. Well, take her with us. Come on, man. Shouldn't be rocket science. You seem sad. When I heard that Yggdrasil had fallen, I realized the end was nigh. And so I resolved to gather every penny I had for one final gambling spree. Alas, the racetrack is closed. It would appear that I am destined to live out the rest of my days without so much as a single moment of joy. How can I make her smile again? My drumming seems to make no difference. The circus, me? Well, it has always been an ambition of mine to perform alongside the great Silvando, but I'm afraid I can't help you right now. It's my best friend, you see. She hasn't cracked so much as a single smile since Yggdrasil fell. I'm sure the right drum beat would cheer her up, but I can't seem to find it, so I need to practice. Drumming your fingers to the bone to put a smile on a friend's face? Honey, you're my kind of guy. How about I give you some help, and we'll make a deal while we're at it? If we can get your friend grinning again, you have to come and join the circus, okay? Really? You'll help me? That's amazing! If you can put a smile back on my friend's face, I'll be happy to join you. It won't be hard to find my friend. She really stands out from the crowd. She's got fine bone structure, great posture, and these long, fluttering eyelashes. She was hanging around in the northwest of the city the last time I saw her. I hope you can find a way to make her feel a bit better. Uh, is it Margarita? No, it's probably this bunny girl. What? The drummer's worried about me and wants to put a smile on my face. I think you must be mistaken. We barely know each other. He's probably talking about Margarita. He's obsessed with that horse. Fine bone structure, fabulous posture, and long fluttering eyelashes. Why, that drummer must have been talking about Margarita. Oh, hello, Silvando. I just came to check up on my friend here. I didn't expect to bump into you. Honey, I had no idea this was who you were talking about. This is Margarita! My Margarita! What? Margarita is yours? Well, I suppose that explains why she's so fabulous. She certainly is. But you're right about her being in a bad way. I know how to put that right, though. She's always been a fan of my dancing. You lay down the beat, darling, and I'll do the rest. Well, I'll try. I'll warn you, though. My drumming doesn't seem to have had any effect on her so far. I don't think I've been doing it right. Oh, honey, there's nothing wrong with your drumming. It's just the visual element that's been lacking, I'm sure. Fortunately, that's where I come in. You'll help too, won't you, boys? Let's put our best feet forward and bring a smile back to Margarita's big, long face. Silvando and friends get into a fabulously funky groove. Nay. Nay! That freaks the cat out. Margarita is absolutely loving it. Oh, Silvando, look! Look how happy she is! You did it! You really did it! No, we did it! This was a team effort, darling. And now that Margarita's smiling again, we could do with those skills of yours at the circus. What do you say? If you really think my drumming can make a difference... I'd be happy to help. Hey. 
By the way, it looks like Margarita wants to give you a little something for making her smile again. Gosh, that's certainly quite fragrant. Yay, horse poo! Why did we... Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Okay, yeah. All right, over to the circus. Is he still in two places? Yes, he's still in two places. What the heck? The great Silvando saves the day once more. We've got two new recruits keen to perform with us in the final show, and it's all thanks to you. Everything's ready backstage, and the performers are waiting for their cues. We're all set. Not that we could start without our star turn, of course. Time to prepare for your grand entrance. Let the ringmaster know when you're all set. Um, I guess I'll... Oh, I can't go in that door. I'm certain you smash these. Okay, we did. All right. Hello, darling. It's been a while. S Sylph? What are you doing here? Oh, you know me, honey. I've never been able to stay away from the circus for long. Bravo, by the way. Most people would have thrown in the towel by now, but I always knew you were made of sterner stuff. Wait, were you the one who found those new recruits for us as well? Goodness me, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, you don't need to thank me, honey. The only thing you need to do is give me my cue. The Wandering Wonder is ready to leap into action once more. All right, Sylph. If you're ready, then so are we. That's the spirit. Well, this is it, darlings. One last chance to bring some light into this dark, dark world. One last chance to gasp in awe at the spectacle of the circus. One last glimpse of the great Silvando. Let's get this show on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, one and all. I know it's a difficult time for all of us, but what better way to show off our indefatigable spirit than to fill the big top with joyful laughter and defiant exuberance. And believe me, that's what's going to happen. Because tonight, for one night only, for the first time since the glory days of the Gallipolitan Circus, the Wandering Wonder returns! <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Welcome! Oh, hi! <laughs> hi! <laughs> Clap your hands, stamp your feet, and get ready to smile like you've forgotten how to! I give you the Great Silvando! Literally magic. Ah! <sighs> All right, everybody. It's time to turn those frowns upside down. Prepare to be amazed.
Sylvanda and company put on a stunning performance, and for one night at least, the people of Galopolis are able to put all their worries and cares behind them. After a jaw-dropping show, the curtain falls to thunderous applause. <laughs> well, Sylph, I've got to hand it to you. That was like nothing else this circus has ever seen. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Darling, please. I just did a few party tricks, that's all. You're the real hero here. Keeping the show going in these dark times? No one else could have done that. <laughs> well, you know me. I've always been a firm believer in the healing power of laughter. And heaven knows, these people need it now more than ever. I don't think I ever told you who taught me about that power, did I? I saw her when I was just a child. She was simply the most incredible performer. She led a parade of people out of a kingdom destroyed by monsters and onto a new home and a brighter future. And she kept them smiling from start to finish. <laughs> you can't imagine how inspirational it was for those of us who were lucky enough to wave them on their way. And then, when she'd taken them to safety, she disappeared just as suddenly as she'd arrived. We never saw her again. The rumors were that she died when she was still young. Such a tragedy. Still, they say she fell in love with a famous knight, and they got married. So it seems she found some happiness before her untimely end. You remind me of her, you know. That look on her face as she proudly led those people out of danger, spreading joy and laughter wherever she went. Well, if I needed inspiration to keep the circus going, you've provided it in spades. The show must go on. These people need some light in their lives. Hmm. Did you hear that, darlings? It seems we've got a rival in the smile-spreading business. Well, we'll just have to work twice as hard. Uh, Mr. Silvando? Would you mind if we came with you? If this circus is going to stand any chance of keeping people laughing, it's going to need some performers who've learned from the best. Oh, well, the more the merrier, of course. But I think we should see what the ringmaster has to say, don't you? Mm. Mm. Oh, you boys go with Sylv. Learn all you can from him, eh? I'll be expecting big things from you when you get back. Take good care of them, won't you? They're good lads, I promise. Life in the happiness restoring trade isn't all fun and games, you know? I'm going to be training you hard, and I expect you to become nothing less than the very best in the business. Sir, yes, yes sir. sir! Yay! Oh, yes. Well, okay then. Alright. Are we done in Galapagos then? Just gotta make our way. Oh, dog! Wait, the cats! Visitors are not currently permitted to enter the palace. No exceptions, even for friends of Prince Ferris. Well. I guess I'm not gonna go see the cats. Alright, onward then. To Hado.
Wait, did we get Margarita? What about Margarita? I'm suddenly very concerned about Margarita. Should I go back for her? If Silvando had a horse this whole time, why did he just leave her behind? I mean, I guess we have been to places that horses can't go, but like... Nope. Okay. Good thing I got some horse shit. Carry a little piece of her with us wherever we go. Please, you've got to stay away from me. I'm not a bad slime, I'm really not. But recently I've been hearing voices telling me to do things. Things I'm not supposed to do. I don't think I'm the only one who's been infected like this either. That plant over there just turned up a while ago and started snapping and snarling at everyone. This isn't a monster, I promise you. Well, it didn't start out as one, at least. It's actually a common or garden plant, and a very beautiful one, too. It's from Laguna di Gondolia originally, and it's simply breathtaking when it's in bloom. When the world went to pot and darkness fell, plants underwent all kinds of metamorphoses and mutations, and even started wandering around causing mischief. It breaks my heart, it really does. That's why I've decided to try and do something about it. I'm a botanist, you see, and I've invented a special fertilizer that, that should restore this little fellow to his former glory. I've got almost all the ingredients I need, but there's one thing I'm still missing. Horse poo. The smellier, the better. <sighs> yep. Got your horse poo. The plant calms down a little before pulling up its roots and wandering off. It worked! Thank you ever so much for your help. My little friend will have toddled back to the Laguna di Gondolia, I'd imagine. Here's hoping he has a nice, quiet life from now on. You're here. It's good to know it's not just humans who are capable of helping. All living things need a hand from time to time. That's right! Especially with the way the world is now. There must be so many plants out there suffering just like that poor fellow was. I wish I could help them all. I really do. Wait! I have an idea! Why don't I travel around with you and your friends? That's surely the best way to help as many plants as possible. What do you say? Of course, honey! The more the merrier. If there are plants out there that are suffering, it's up to us to step in and save them! Oh, that's just wonderful. Thank you ever so much. I'm not much good at fighting. I do know a thing or two about the natural world, though, and that's always useful. All right, new member. Good thing we picked up that horse poo. None shall pass. I promise to protect these people, and that is what I shall do. Easy there, honey. We don't mean you any harm. Quite the opposite, actually. We're traveling around looking for people who might need our help. 
What? You must be mad with the world the way it is now. Mind you, you do look like you can handle yourself. In fact, there might even be something you can do for me. I'm a martial artist, you see. And I said I'd help these people get food for the village of Hado. Whatever's going on with the world, it seems to have played havoc with their crop production. Anyway, we were on the way back to the village when we got attacked by a vicious monster. It roughed us up good and proper and stole all the food we'd collected. I was supposed to protect them, but I didn't stand a chance against that thing all by myself. If you were with me, though, it'd be a different story. Fancy going to get those supplies back? You bet, honey! That monster is going to learn the hard way that it can't go around swiping people's dinners out from there under their noses. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. As long as we stick together, that thing won't stand a chance. It should be loitering somewhere to the south of Hado. I'm sure we'll beat it easily, but let's make sure we're properly prepared anyway, eh? Alright. We should probably find a campsite. Oh, look. A campsite. All right, I like having Dave. Hiya. Silvando. Oh, I think we'll stick with that, I guess. I don't really know what they can all do. And now we're gonna go this way. Let's get in a battle just to see what these guys are like. Take this! Take this! Okay. Lovely jubbly. Decent. It'll do. We can work with this. That's probably it, don't you think? If we had to guess. Yep. <laughs> More humans! More food! Give or I squish! <laughs> Reckon we found our grub pinch and monster sylph. Ready to have a crack at him? Sure. Poop night. We like uh, you. Two, four, six, eight. Get to get to see uh, nice. Score 
one for the good guys. Good work, team. Good work, team. The villagers recover all the stolen food and take it back to Hato. Thank you so much for your help. I really couldn't have done it without you. You know, you're really quite something. Risking your life to help a bunch of strangers like that? That's pretty amazing. I want to be like that too, but I don't think we got what it takes yet. Hey, maybe if I spent some time with you, it might help. What do you say? Is it all right if I tag along for a while? Of course, darling. You'll be the best, most helpful martial artist in the business by the time I'm done with you. Just you wait and see. Thank you so much. This is going to be the journey of a lifetime. I can feel it in my bones. That's an old load of smiles we put back on people's faces now. Reckon we've done all we can around these parts, Sylv. Why don't we head over to Otto and see how Tetsu's getting along? We did promise we'd visit. We did. We did promise that. Oh, look! Otto! I think. Yes? Hmm. Yoo-hoo! Teddy wetty woo bags! What the hell, Sylv? <laughs> Silvando, you came! But of course I did! <gasps> and who's this ravishing young thing, huh? I am his mother, and you must be Silvando. Gratitude is due. Oh, right. They speak when in haiku. When the world tree fell, I thought my boy had been lost. I drowned in despair. But now he is home. My worries clear like the clouds. And all thanks to you. <laughs> God, would you look at that. You really do perk people up wherever you go, eh, Sylv? A right little soldier of smile, you are. Hmm, soldier of smile. Ooh, I like it. All right, listen up, boys. <gasps> We all know what a dark place the world is these days. But if there's one thing I've learned by helping people like Tetsu here, it's the power of the smile. No matter how bad things get, no matter how much you cry or how powerless you feel, a single grin can bring hope for a better tomorrow. There's nothing this world needs more than happy faces right now. So that's just what we're going to give it. Yay! You're so right, Sylv. We're with you all the way. Oi! Who said you could start calling him plain old Sylv, you cheeky toe rag? There's a hierarchy here, and it will be respected, or Dave will take off his mask. And you don't want Dave to take off his mask. Oh, I get it. We can't go spreading smiles if we're mistering and surring left and right, eh? Fair enough. Silver yourself, silly boys. Great idea, boss. Silver is. I'm with you all the way too, Silv. Let's get out there and save the world. Yeah! I mean, yay! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, boys. You don't know how much this means to me. This parade's gonna change everything. I just know it. From this day forth, you shall journey across the land, vanquishing the blight of despair with the righteous power of happiness. I hereby dub you... <gasps> the Soldiers of Smile! Hmm! <gasps> Yeah. 
If it please you, sir, my son would like to join you in spreading sunlight. All right, boys. Me and my mum have made a little something that's going to knock your socks off. <gasps> I told you I'd thank you properly if you came to visit. Now you can travel the world in style. <gasps> Wow! <laughs> We've made something for you too, Sylv. To say thanks, you know. Close your eyes. <gasps> there it is. Oh. oh my, I love it! Thank you so much, my special little soldiers. <laughs> yeah, let's say that snivel. There's people out there need our help in case you've forgotten. Hmm. <sighs> oh. Look out, world! Here we come! I know you're still out there. All of you. We'll meet again soon. I just know it. And until then, I'll be doing my best to make the world a better place. Yup. Okay. Octagonia, finally. You there? You're not from around here, are you? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. One traveler to another. Steer well clear of that city. It's in a right old state. The stories I've been hearing are enough to make your hair stand on end. Thanks for the warning, but I'm going in anyway. If the people there are suffering, I can't leave them to their fate. Things are bad enough these days without that. Blimey. There aren't many like you around. Most people are just out for themselves since Yggdrasil fell. Well, good luck to you. You'll need it. I know I'm not alone in this. If you're still out there, you'll be doing exactly the same thing as me. And that's how I'm going to find you. I just have to keep looking. Okay, friends. We're actually going to call it here because it is... It's been about three hours now and it just feels like a natural stopping point. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to stop. Um, but we will pick up right here with Jade's portion of the interlude on Friday nights. Um, you know, unless randomly I find free time this week. Keep an eye out. Could happen. Weirder things have happened, but it'll probably be Friday night between 8 and 8.30 p.m. as per usual. Uh, that's Eastern time, by the way. Thank you all so much for joining me this evening. I really hope that you continue to come back and catch the streams. If you're interested in seeing any of the old stuff, it is on my YouTube, which you can find in the About Me section. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, come find me on Twitch. A. Eh? In the meantime, everybody, enjoy your wonderful Monday, and I will see you all Friday night.